Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am the Sweet Word of Goddess. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So let's connect with Archangel Metatron and get some light worker messages for the collective. So let's see. Archangel Metatron, what do you want the collective to know? Earth is here, learning how to be human. You're in the world, but not of it. Listen. Some of you guys have re reincarnated on Earth, and it's probably, maybe the last time you were here on Earth was like 1300s before Christ. Like, so you're learning how to operate now in this lifetime. It might be a little challenging for you. It might be, this might be your first time coming to Earth. So don't be so hard on yourself if you're just freaking weird, okay? And you're going through a spiritual awakening now. So if I were you, I would just advise you to be in, in hermit mode. Just take some time to be within yourself, connect with the earth, connect with nature, meditate, because you're learning how to be a human. Maybe you're an angel and you reincarnated in this lifetime to be a human to help shift the frequency of the planet. So it's a little new to you. So it's okay. Don't be so hard on yourself. But some of you guys are just learning how to, to be in this new awakened lifestyle. You're, you're of this world, but you're not of it. You feel like you don't fit in, and you don't because you're a light worker. You have a soul purpose, an earth mission, and that's the only thing that we need, humans need to be focusing on. I feel like we sometimes we forget. There's a lot of karmic relationships. It could be in your family. You would feel like you don't belong in this family. It's toxic. You're not anything like your family members because you're the blessed one. That's why. So some of you guys are having um, toxic karmic relationships in the family, within friend groups, um, now that you're going through the spiritual awakening, they're here on a lower frequency and you're up here. You're on a higher frequency than them. You have to let them go. It's not an energetic match. So it's always gonna be toxic. It's always gonna, you know, be careful of your energy. Your energy is sacred. Why would you wanna hang around low vibrational human beings? So you need to stay grounded in self-love and know that you are on a spiritual path and you're, and you're growing. It might bring conflict into your life. You might have to separate yourself and cut people off when you go through a spiritual awakening. I did, and I, and I don't regret it. So let's see, uh, Archangel Metatron, what else do you want the collective to know? For light workers, starseeds, spiritual messages? Earth pulsing. So again, so you definitely need to go outside and lay in the grass. I know it's getting kind of cold. Oh well, double up, wear layers, go to a park. Get a yoga mat, get a blanket, and just lay down for 30 minutes. Can you do that for yourself? Nature heals. There's there's nature spirits that see humans and love humans. You may not be you may not be able to see them. You have to believe in fairies in order to see them. But there are fairy spirits. There's nature spirits that as soon as you walk outside, they get excited when they see humans and they want to bless you and they want to heal you with their light. So just go outside and connect with nature's and ask the nature spirits of love positive vibes that surround you and to help heal you with their light. So this pulse of the mother slow down, spend time in nature. You guys are doing too much, so don't forget you need to unwind and spend time in nature, okay? What else are you going to draw on? Two more cards for light workers and star seeds. Inner earth. So some of you guys need to understand that there is an inner earth. Um, there's like movies called like journey to the middle to the inner earth or something like that but um so, so this is all about an awakening your consciousness I don't know if you know but there is an inner earth there could be still life in the inner earth human beings um, so it says you'll survive this new solutions and new beginnings are here but definitely um, research the inner earth on YouTube they're telling you the truth it's the whole community inside the earth there's a house is here okay so many secrets of the big brother but there is an inner earth so start researching that okay and this came out this came out in the past um most recent past this is all about star bathing so connect nature wants to connect with you the stars want to connect with you the trees want to connect with you so definitely go out and star bathe if you have privacy, if you have a, if you have access to nature in your own backyard, that's a blessing. Go outside and connect with the stars. That's one thing I miss. Cause I'm not going out at night by myself in my neighborhood, cause I don't have a backyard. So if you have a backyard and it's safe, definitely go outside and star bathe. Um, activate your soul that's within your human vessel. 
and take your crystal babies out there and charge. It's, you can even put a crystal grid because crystal grid here is on, is on the card as well. So you can create a crystal grid for yourself. Look that up on YouTube, how to do crystal grids and lay within your crystal grid underneath the stars. It's very powerful. It's activating your body. It's activating your third eye chakra. It's activating your soul. So connect with the stars, you guys. Do some star baiting. So what else? Let's see what's underneath the deck. So it says trust your path in life, okay? That's the card on the bottom of the deck. Trust your path in life. Everything that you, everything that's happening for you right now, you signed up to do it before you even came to earth. It's called a soul contract. So trust your path. It was written, everything that's happening to you, it was written to go down this way. Use it for your highest purpose. If you're going through a lot of challenges and obstacles and negative dark forces, use this opportunity to help you grow in your spirituality because you're blessed and you're protected. And it says, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Access that support and talk to your spirit guides because you're being supported. That's what I would do. I know I'm being supported, so we're gonna talk all day. What do you want me, what, what do, you want me to do about this situation? Everything is spirit guided. So trust your path in life. Trust that you are being divinely protected by divine source, your ancestors, archangels. Trust your path. So that is your mini light worker message, you guys. Hope everyone has a blessed day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.